welcome to our next video. This time we're talking about kurtosis in distributions, in return distributions. We've been talking about skewness in different videos. This time we're talking about kurtosis. Take a look here at the standard normal distribution, which is the black curve. The black curve, standard normal distribution, which means normal distribution with an expected value of zero and a standard deviation or variance of one. And this standard normal distribution is called mesocurtic. Whereas a curve that is more peaked than the black one, for example, the red one, the red, the red curve is more peaked than the black one, is called leptocurtic. Leptocurtic has a, an index k sub e, an index k sub e strictly superior to zero, and the k sub e is calculated this way, a very huge, a very large formula. This is the number very important to the kurtosis, k sub e. And then we have the green curve. The green curve is called platycurtic, k sub e strictly inferior to zero. The green curve is less peaked than the standard normal distribution, whereas the red one is more peaked than the standard normal distribution. That's what this is what is important here. So, as we can see, the data that we've been using so far in different videos already, 0, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 6, 10, 7, 10. As we put them in here, the sample size is equal to 10, and so forth and so forth. For example, the standard deviation, as we computed already, is 3.399 to the power of 4, and so on and so on, we get the number, we get the result, k sub e of zero, of negative 0 0.9516. And since it is negative, since it is negative, we can see that the distribution, that the return distribution we have here is platycurtic, since it's negative. And there is another formula, there is another formula as the sample size n grows, we could use this one here. The larger the n, the better this result indicates the, the kurtosis or the, the axis kurtosis. So I just computed it for those data too, and we get the result of minus 1.449, which is not that far away from this number, since the sample size was only 10, it was not very large. Thank you for watching.